I built a train for homeless dogs to get them adopted. I'll do whatever it takes to help a dog, but this is next level. Not only am I gonna run a train right through the middle of one of my bakeries for dogs, this magical train ride is gonna take a tour around the world. From the North Pole to Germany, we're gonna celebrate Hanukkah, even stop by Miami. Now, it's not gonna be easy, and right out of the gate, I ran into a challenge. How in the world do you get a train upstairs? That's a good point. I will build a ramp. We don't have a lot of time before the dog can get here. So I got a really thick piece of plywood and then I'm gonna run four by fours under it so it's strong enough with enough velocity the train can just I've never done this before. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Yeah, perfect. I built a train ride for dogs. Naturally, that's gonna have a lot of moving pieces. Here's the plan. The train comes in the back, rolls through the bakery, stops at the train depot. The team and I will be waiting there with toys, treats, gifts, and more, all designed in the theme of that world tour. After that, the train will roll through the front door, go around the block, and we'll do it all over again. But here's the challenge. Every time that happens, we'll change out the entire theme. We'll make the treats, we'll grab the toys. We are pre-making some gingerbread men, or as I like to call them, gingerbread people. And I'm gonna pre-bake these so when all the dogs in the train gets here, we're ready to go, and then all we have to do is decorate them. I'm just reworking some of my dough here. I've already made the large gingerbread men, so I can stamp out now some small gingerbread people, because you know, we have a whole gingerbread family. Get it as close as you can. We'll bring this one in a little bit, leave that one out. Get all kinds of different shapes and sizes of gingerbread people. <laughs> Look, they're holding hands. Let's throw these gingerbread people in the oven. The train's here, the dogs are here, we're ready. But we need to test it first. <laughs> Conductor, are you ready? Yes. Really, really hoping this works. Oh! All the bark! Success! What's up? Oh, dude, good to see you. Again. Oh, more importantly, hi. I'm still in love with you. you. How many pups do you have with you right now? We've got five total. <laughs> that face is so kissable. Yeah. <laughs> We're actually taking a tour across the world from the North Pole to warm climate to Germany. So many exciting places. And we've got dog treats and toys. We gotta load all the dogs up. Do it. Bring that train in, come on. All right, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and let's get this train going. I know some people will say this is too much, it's over the top, but for me, I think it's not enough, especially when you know Fiona's backstory. She was just used to make puppies her entire life and held in a cage. She was never even given a name. When Ty rescued her, he had to put her through multiple surgeries that cost thousands and thousands of dollars. At the time, he gave her the name Big Mama. And what I love is that we came to all of you and said we need help getting her a name, and you all chose Fiona. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, and now I say all of us give Fiona one of the best days in her life. A holiday train ride that goes around the world and gives her everything that her heart could desire. Okay, I'm going to give a signal here in like two seconds. But remember the rules, we only have the time from them going around the block. And it goes pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Okay, all right, all right. All aboard! I got to hurry. I got to get ready. I've got my pants on. We're going to pull this off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just so much heavier than it looks. I should have taken these lids off before. Right. I've got a simple puppuccino recipe for this. Snickerdoodle bone. Fill the rest with dog-friendly whipped cream. I've got some green coconut right here. we got to move fast. Where'd I put this? It's going to get a little messy. Rocky, how you doing? The train's coming. i got to move. Oh, <laughs> that's harder to do than it looks. Oh, I'm running out. Red, red, red. Drizzle some carob on there. Get some green ones. Let's do the mix. This one will go to Fiona. I hear the train, it's coming! It's pretty bad. <laughs> oh! Puppermint Puppuccinos! Just in time for the train pulling into the station. All right, tell us what you have here. Welcome to the Winter Village. Oh. It's a snow-covered station. Wonderful. Presents, candy canes, a whole Christmas tree, Santa's chair. Blake, great job. I Thank tell you, you what, I'd give you a high five, but instead, why don't I give you a puppuccino? Okay. Kel, here, you want to help? That one right there is Big Mama's puppuccino. I made okay. special just for her. Okay, here you go. Go girl. Precious, what's that? I'll give that to you. There we go. There it it's is. It's the Snickerdoodles. Oh, that's a hit. 
Wow, they really love that puppuccino. The Perfect. program of puppuccinos mean a lot to me because it reminds me of family. I wrote a song for this. What? You don't know the puppuccino song? Oh, let's do this. It goes like this. Oh, puppuccino time, puppuccino time. Oh, how I love your puppuccinos. The holiday version. I got her in the mood. Oh yeah, look at that. Just need a little holiday music ever so often. Good. It's time to get the train rolling out. All aboard! I got some more treats to make. Goodbye, everybody. All right, it's gonna be a lot harder this time. Inside the chair. We're gonna decorate gingerbread people. I gotta get my outfit on. A lot of Christmas traditions actually originated in Germany and Austria. So I thought, why not make one of the stops for Kris Kringle in Germany? We're ready for Christmas. The good thing is I have a whole bakery team that can help me out. I've already got the cookies made, and I've got some green yogurt and red yogurt. Lower it. It's backwards. Let's give them a smile. Where's the train? They're done with their town already. I'm gonna give this one a dress. Kelly's grabbing some green. Oh, well done. We are out of time. Let's just do patterns. Go on, keep going, keep going. The train is coming. Okay, we got them all? Yeah. Oh, this is perfect. I'm waving, you're not waving. Guten Tag, Fiona! Why are you saying it like huh? Here's a golden dog! Go, golden dog! There you go. Oh, it's so gentle. She loves it. And you know what? I love her. And I have something really exciting to tell all of you. There are a lot of dogs here that need good, loving homes. But you have some big news about Fiona, am I right? Yes, I do. Okay, please tell us. Fiona is officially adopted. Oh, yay! Because of you guys in the Puppuccino video. Oh, man, that is so oh, awesome. Fans of yours, they saw Fiona. By the time you see this video, she will be with her new family. I'll put pictures and videos at the end of this video, so stick around. Uh, you wanna hand out some more gingerbread yes. people yeah. to the pups? Three-legged husky. Oh, so gentle. Mm. Tango. Okay. Oh, okay, you're storing that one? Hey, you wanna pick one? <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of you ask, hey, I wanna help, I wanna be involved, become a member. Yep. I don't know if I've been clear enough about it before, but those funds allow us to help dogs. We're doing things with that, so you get to be a part of this, you get to be a part of a community. Sign up, be a part of what we're doing, we'd love to have you as a supporter. She's like, I'm ready, let's spin around again. All aboard! Bye! Okay, let's go. Train's going around, I'm gonna change into my Hanukkah outfit. <laughs> you okay? Perfect, let's see if I've still got the skills. <laughs> For these cookies, we sell them every holiday in the store. Boom, I'm done with my project. Oh, Hanukkah has seven days of gift giving, so we gotta find some more gifts. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then the treats are number seven. Let's go. Let's go to the holiday village. Come on, follow me. Happy Hanukkah. I'm done. Wow. I'll help you out, I'll help you out. Hold on. Yeah, it's coming. I'm raise the whole thing. All right, this challenge is a lot of fun. I hear it. Let's all have squeakers, I'll love that. Happy Hanukkah! <laughs> okay, Fiona. Oh, what's that? Oh, you like the cookies, huh? Oh, good girl. Okay, we'll let you guys have that. Oh, oh good doggy. That might be the first toy Precious has ever had. Toy or treat? Oh, it's, 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 <laughs> it's a treat. It's, so we've done the North Pole. Yeah. Christmas town in Germany. Hanukkah. Why don't we go someplace warm? All a bark. Say it, it feels good. All a bark. It yeah, does feel good. All a bark. <laughs> The toys were a hit for Hanukkah. I gotta change. We're going somewhere tropical. Beach scene, sliders or burgers, pre-made. These little sliders right here. Ah. Little holiday flamingo toys. Perfect. We just gotta beat the train right this way. Oh, I've got some sliders right here. Got some toys. And I love the Hawaiian Santa. Look at that. This is your backdrop? You just frame you right here. Yeah, it's coming. We should fill this with water. Hurry, hurry for the thirsty dog. This is the Miami dance. It's the. Yeah, right there, here. Hey! Last stop. We've got some burgers right here. Right, that might be a little big, huh? <laughs> you need to lick them all? Okay. Is that the one? Okay, just the top. There you go. Which one? Which one? That's the one? Okay. Yep, just the bun. Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, yep. Got the cookie on that. Oh. Why don't we disbark? <laughs> Get some water and have some fun. What do you say? Everybody off. Let's go to Miami. Come on. Let's go on vacation. You want some water? That's a good girl. And I want you to do something special for Fiona. I want you to leave a comment for her of love and support that her new family can read to her. I will make sure they read every single one of those comments to this beautiful girl.
she just came in last night. They found her in an abandoned home, but when they brought her in last night, she had three little puppies. So look at these little puppies. Oh, so sweet. So look, we have this little one right here. Now these puppies are not even a day old. They don't even have their eyes open yet. But I need your help. I need a name for these three little puppies and mama right here, because they don't have a name. There are two, two girls and one little boy puppy. Look, they're so cute. All right, here's the deal. I'm gonna need your help naming these puppies, so stick around to find out how. And I gotta tell you, the mom and her puppies, the story gets even better. But first, I gotta give you the story on Empty the Shelter, so let's rewind and get this day started. One, two, three. Ring that bell. Pulling up at Detroit Animal Care and Control. I have never been here before. Like most shelters, I've heard that they need help. We're here. Oh, I'm so excited. I visit a lot of animal shelters and no two shelters are the same. Each one has their own unique challenges and struggles, but Detroit, Detroit doesn't have it easy. The good news is over the next couple of days, we'll be doing empty this shelter so that we can help them get as many dogs and cats adopted as possible. That's the goal. How oh, oh, are you? Today's the day. This is Kathy Bissell. She is the founder of the Bissell Pet Foundation. Here's the team. Yeah. What's up? How are you? The good news is her team came with her, so we have plenty of extra helping hands. What's the plan? We have a whiteboard. Okay, here's the plan. Get all the animals adopted. Yeah. We're gonna celebrate Christmas with you and all the dogs. And we're gonna decorate, and we have toys. Do we have toys, Kath? Oh yeah. We've got toys for the dogs. I wanna see the shelter first before we come in and decorate and see the animals and just kind of get what the real challenges are here, because I think if we can discover that, that's how we can really help get these pets into a loving home. I know it's easy to look at these kennels and quickly become overwhelmed. That's why I'm so happy that Kathy created Empty the Shelters because this shelter and shelters across the nation are going to have so many pets going home with their new families. When I look at these dogs in their kennels, I see individuals, little personalities that are ready to love and be loved. So I have to give a big thanks to Kathy because her program is going to help send a lot of these dogs and cats to their forever home. This dog right here is, I thought it was a puppy. It's a mama, she's, she's had puppies, which is, but she's not even a year, 14 months. Right now we've got about 192. It usually fluctuates between like 150 and 300. It's not 200 adoptable dogs, it's probably about 100 adoptable dogs. We've got ones who are being treated for upper respiratory infection that we have in a separate section of the building. Yeah. We've got ones who aren't off stray hold yet, which are in that end of the building. They're waiting to see if their owners are gonna come retrieve them. You have about 30 cats? Yeah. Do you want to see the cat? Yeah, let's see the cat. We have Scrooge. Scrooge is very <laughs> He's a very playful, playful dude. Well, that's a fitting name for this time of year, you know? <laughs> We have Orange Sickle down here. Okay. Hi, George. Hi. He's a sweet little kitten. Hi, George. And we have Cranberry right there. Your seasonal holiday names are amazing. <laughs> I think we've come to the right place because Christmas is just right around the corner and they're naming all the cats holiday names, but they don't have any decorations up. It's hard, you know, you're working all day, you're trying to save these animals, help the community. You don't have time to prepare for the holidays. So you guys have already preloaded the cars we and have. everything. Oh, yeah. Little Santa dog. That's awesome. All right, so this is where the pressure starts to build a little bit because the shelter is now open. We've got to get this place decorated, but this is the moment where we meet this mom who was found in an abandoned home with her little puppies. Because as you can imagine, it's really hard for a mama and puppies to live in a shelter. So right away, we went live and we asked everybody to share it, hoping that somebody could help, somebody that could step in would do just that. Here's what I need from everybody. If you know anybody, let them know because we have to get the word out. Thank you.
thank you so much for adopting. You guys are a part of Into the Shelter, so thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate it. So how did you come to select her? Do we need it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bring it. Okay. Oh, I really good. good work. Good work. <laughs> All right, we're getting, we're getting people coming to the door. That it starts. It's like a trickle right now. All right, hand that to me again. Okay. Is this the shirt? Oh, yeah. Empty the shelters. Oh right yeah. Okay, we're doing something really cool. I've got Kelly here helping me. We're gonna make something that it, I think is gonna blow everyone away. Have you ever had like a cookie or a brownie in a mug? You pop it in the microwave. We're gonna make that, but for dogs. We're gonna call them muffin mugs for mutts. We've never tried this before. Let's give it a whirl. I'm a little concerned. This is the employee break room right here. We need to spruce it up a little bit. Oh, there it is. There you go. We got the, hey. the base for these muffins are gonna be all dog friendly ingredients. Things you find in your cupboard like applesauce and honey and blueberries. We're gonna use whole wheat. We've got some baking powder because we need the product to actually rise in the microwave. Kelly's been helping develop this recipe with me. You worked out the measurements per mug, right? Yeah. We only have spoons here. So we're gonna do five and a half spoonfuls, a third of a cup. Vanilla, two heaping tablespoons of applesauce. Oh yeah. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. This is the real deal, guys. This is how it works at shelters when you're making treats for dogs on the road. Three minutes, why not? Let's go for it. It smells, I can't see it. Just wait, just wait. Uh -oh. Two, one. Look at that. That looks delicious. Yeah, let's get a little peanut butter on there. Good work. I All think right. you were a little nervous. Well. I knew the whole time it was gonna work just fine. I'm a pet chef. Never messed up a dog treat in my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One thing really important is if you make this at home, let it cool. It's gotta be nice and cool for the dogs. If you want this recipe, become a member. I put all of my recipes in the member section and you're helping support our initiatives to help more pets in need. So become a supporter. It's a small monthly fee, but it gives back and you get to be a part of a community. That's really good. That is really good. It's that peanut butter, I think. Mm. Bring some spoons, come on. She's a little nervous with her puppies. Hey, girl. Hi, Mom. Oh, yeah. This is for you. She's hungry because she's got her little babies. Come here. Come here, sit. This is so good for her because it'll give her the healthy nourishment that she needs to feed her little puppies. <laughs> good girl. Good girl. Girl, look at that. It is cleaned out. That's a good girl. It's time to go put the toys in stockings. Okay, how can I help? The stockings are on the very far end. Okay, I'll right. come with you. Okay. Just like Christmas morning for you, the dogs get toys and treats and warm blankets and oh, it's gonna be fantastic. Wow, you guys got all these toys, huh? Are you kidding? Meyer donated everything. Oh, that's everything. That is awesome. Okay, come on, let's go. Let's okay. Go. Oh, it's really coming together. Okay, look, we've got treats right there. So you're adopting Zigzag? Yes, I am. Ring that bell. Play this up for Maverick. Play it. Look at that. That's going to be all yours, Maverick. All right, we're taking, you're adopting Tyson? Yeah. It's so cute. I can't wait for these dogs to get to play with their toys. Oh, this is looking so good. This is nice because the dogs know they can feel it because the team knows, right? We're doing this for the team and all the staff that work really hard here. And when they see this and they feel good about it, the dogs can feel that energy and then they feel good about it. Today, something very special is happening. The world's tallest dog gets to meet Santa. I know, I'm excited too. Here's the best part about it. Santa is going to grant Goliath's wish to him, a new family. Oh, it gets me right here in the heart. I love the holidays. Santa's coming to town and we have to get ready. Santa is coming to town. We have to make a space that's perfect for him. I thought we'd model it after his home in the North Pole. I think I've got just the idea. I know it doesn't look like much now, but it's a start. For all of you who have been following Goliath's story, I know you're gonna love this video. And if you're new here, welcome. Subscribe, turn on notifications, and let me tell you Goliath's story real quick. Just so happened 
that a family was backing up a U-Haul, the, the front gate of okay. the shelter. Lifted it up and popped him out and they were turning him in. Nine years old, he was super emaciated. You could see all the way through. Santa is really busy this time of year, but when I told him Goliath's story, he wanted to help. And he reminded me that the holidays isn't just about helping one, but many. I agree, so I came up with a plan where we can get thousands of dogs and cats in loving homes for the holidays, but I'm gonna need your help, so stick around so you can find out how you can be a part of that. Okay, this is no doubt my favorite time of the year in the dog bakery. We get to make holiday cookies for all of the puppers. Now, when I think of Santa and what Santa wants, ooey gooey peanut butter cookies with some milk. So what we're gonna do here, mix all the dry ingredients together, take your wet ingredients and throw them in a bowl here. Applesauce, honey, peanut butter. Take our wet ingredients here, fold them together, get them all mixed up. With the dry ingredients, put a little bit in there, mix a little bit. Perfect. A little bit more, gets a little sticky. I like to get in there with my hands. What's bacon for your dog with that little mess, right? Put a little flour down, keep working that dough a little bit. Let's taste it a little bit. That's good cookie dough right there. Just scoop right out of your dough right here. Give just a little space in between. Just get them in a nice peanut butter shape there. Take a fork, put it in flour. These are the little details that's really gonna sell it for Santa. I'm a little worried we're not gonna be able to pull all this together before Santa gets here. We need like holiday decorations. We can do a chair, like a tree maybe. Fireplace. What? Tree, fireplace, chair, holiday decorations. We wanna go as big as Goliath. As big as you're thinking, even bigger. I think we can do it. <laughs> okay. okay. What is that? Okay. If you were Santa, would you sit in that chair? Yeah, you're right. Hold on. Better chair, better chair. Santa is coming. What is that? Santa handwrites letters. This looks like he's at a computer at a desk. He can type letters. Maybe he emails now. This. Is a Santa chair. Kelly, you want to try it out? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for a nap. You can nap in January when Santa's okay, done. Okay, Let's go. Oh! Got the fireplace. It's like for little kids. Got yeah. a backup plan. I'm a little concerned about this backup plan. What is this? <laughs> that is a fireplace. Wow. This is the biggest production we've done all year, but I know that it's worth it. You smell that? That's peanut butter cookies. Wow! That is a delicious looking peanut butter cookie. Let's give it a try. Mm, that is so good, but there's one thing that we need with this. Hold on. Milk. This is actually goat milk, and it's really great for dogs. I think the dogs are gonna love this. These delicious peanut butter cookies didn't happen by accident, and if you want the detailed recipe, join the channel. You can join for as little as 99 cents a month. It really helps so that we can go help more animals. Ty's on his way with Goliath. They're gonna be here any minute. I've gotta get these cookies in Santa's house because Santa is coming. <laughs> All right, we're ready. We've got the cookies, tree check, chair check. You're going in like that? Uh, like, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> what? I got it. Whoa! <laughs> hey, now we are ready for Santa. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's test it out. Hey, everybody, I'm Santa. Let's straighten that out a little bit. We need the tree topper. The tree topper is what makes the tree. Who doesn't love a little golden retriever tree topper? Finishing touch. Whoa! Perfect. Get warm by the fireplace. Oh, this is amazing. All these presents. Look at this train. It just goes around the tracks. What? <laughs> I love it, but it doesn't matter what I think. It matters what Santa thinks. It matters what Goliath and Ty thinks. Ty's here right now. So I'm gonna go grab Ty and see if he thinks it's Santa and Goliath ready. Santa is coming! <laughs> oh, my Goliath, God. hi! Santa is coming! <laughs> hi! Santa this is coming! Is <laughs> Watch this. Oh my God. <laughs> he likes it. <laughs> He loves it. I got one for you. Oh, I love your holiday sweater, Goliath. <laughs> oh my God. Happy holidays. How's Goliath been? Awesome. Gaining a little bit of weight. He's probably another 30 pounds since I've seen him. I can't wait to hear about his new family. Santa's on his way, so we don't have a lot okay. of time. We've built this Santa room, but I want you to give the final thumbs up on it and see if it's good enough for Goliath and good enough for Santa. Deal. Come on, let's go right this way. I'll be right back. This is for Goliath. 
Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's amazing. Especially with Hawaiian sand over there. Yeah. Goliath could just lay here and warm by the fire. Dog cookies. cookies. Or reindeers. Okay. <laughs> but I gotta know, for Goliath and Santa, is this perfect? Amazing. But this, what? You gotta change this. You gotta what? This outfit? I put a lot of Elford into this. Okay, much better. <laughs> this is it. It's time for you to spill the beans. Who is adopting Goliath? You gotta tell us. I am. No, what, you? Yeah, I can't let him go. The past dog that I adopted, Curtis, he left such a big hole in my heart. Luckily, Goliath is huge and he filled it, so. Oh my, come here, man. Thank you. Oh, man. When Goliath started coming out, he'd keep coming around to me every single time. He is so attached to you. Yeah. But he doesn't know yet. No, he has no idea. Oh my goodness. Okay, we should go grab Goliath and... You hear that? I think I do. Oh, Santa is here. Okay, we gotta clear this space. Come on, let's go, let's go. Come on, Santa is coming, Santa is coming. Good boy sitting on Santa's lap. My Goliath, what a big boy you are. What's that? You want some treats and toys? Oh, ho, ho. would you like to try a cookie? Oh my goodness, Goliath. I'm so glad to see you. And I know what you would really love, that new forever home, wouldn't you? Santa will see what he can do for you. You're gonna have a Merry Christmas this year. And you're on Santa's nice list. We'll get you a nice home. There's something so magical about the holiday. And you have to think that after everything Goliath's been through, he's hoping from the bottom of his heart that Ty is going to be his new dad. The good news is, it's that time. Let's watch Goliath get his one true holiday wish. I have a wonderful surprise for you. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, oh. There's your new forever home. Hopefully we can find more dogs just like you, a wonderful, loving home. This is my Christmas present? Oh, yeah. Oh, you want your cookie? Okay. Oh, Merry Christmas to you, Goliath. You are on my nice list. Santa's so proud of you. Does he know? Yep. He knows! He knows! Oh, he knows. Good boy! Oh, that's a good boy! Oh, hey Santa, hi! Oh, I, I dropped my bag! Yeah, here you go! I have a present in there big enough for a boy like Goliath! Oh, oh it's a giant goodness! Giant dog toy, Goliath! Oh! Wow! He's sitting on his toy! Okay guys, he knows! Come on in! Come on in! Happy oh, holidays! Oh, good man. job, Ty! Yeah, good job, Ty! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I think this might have just, Kaysen might have yeah. just jacked this. Kaysen? <laughs> Here, let's just bigger than. What is that? Kaysen? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, man. It's a like, oh, shark teeth. Oh, it is a 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 shark when I think about all the dogs in shelters this Christmas, it breaks my heart because dogs are the definition of giving. They give and give and give. And the true meaning of Christmas is all about giving. That's why this year, I've decided to give a pack of rescue dogs their first Christmas ever. But this isn't gonna be an easy task because dog shelters and rescues aren't set up for Christmas. So I'm gonna have to bring Christmas to them. I'm Rocky Kanaka, and this year, I'm bringing some rescue dogs their first Christmas ever. Gaze upon the sky, Christmas on my mind. Every year, our dogs get Christmas, mm -hmm. but dogs at shelters across North America don't get to spend Christmas with their families. No, they don't. And so we got the tree, we decorated the tree. We, I mean, we put up Christmas stockings, just like you would at your house. Mm -hmm. Do you do Christmas stockings? Of course I do. Yeah, okay, yeah. what a silly question. Yeah. Bo's going on the tree. If you think about the dogs out there that have never had Christmas, they, they don't get the experience of all the wrapping paper flying everywhere or them getting a, pres a present or 
Christmas cookies. Christmas really is a family experience. The dogs, the dogs in my house love Christmas just like the people in my house love Christmas. They're always there ripping up, uh, you know, wrapping paper and peeing on 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 new stuff and <laughs> and uh, and loving it. So why not involve the dogs? And why not have it really just be an idea that we can all watch, that we can all get behind, and we can all enjoy to watch dogs experience Christmas. You know, it doesn't have to be anything more than just uh, watching some. Um, some down on their luck animals enjoy something special for themselves. So here's what we're gonna do. Here's the plan. The dogs right now they're they're lining up just like just like Christmas when I was growing up. Like we all line it's up like in the Christmas hallway. The orphanage. Yeah, <laughs> and then then we run around the corner and it's Christmas. So all the dogs are out there. They've been they've been lined up and uh, and they're getting dressed up right now. We've got anywhere from Santa hats to elf hats to even Christmas PJs. Yeah. And so uh, I'm not convinced that all of them have been good all year. <laughs> but we're gonna let it slide this one time. This and one day. Give them all. Give them all presents. Let's have these dogs come in here and let's celebrate. Ho ho Christmas. ho! Marley Christmas. Marley Christmas. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me come out and take a look at these guys. Okay, Bentley, your hat matches your cast, buddy. Our oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh wow. Oh look at that. Okay, well, and then Hooch has his his holiday slobber scarf on. Come on in. Ooh, my dear. <laughs> the Come forecast here. ain't clear. So you will tight. you please light my way and leave okay. this old man sleigh. <laughs> Ooh, Dolf, my friend. Oh, Once <laughs> more will you lend the rain. Oh my goodness. That little pupper's right here is Kaysen, and he's brand new. I mean, in life, but also he just came to Marley's Mutts yesterday. And while he's been through some pretty big ups and downs right out of the gate, he made it just in time for his very first Christmas. Come here. Come here. And that, that's Noelle. Noelle came to the rescue after being abandoned, hit by a car, and in desperate need of surgery. And while her two front legs couldn't be saved, it's heartwarming to know that the whole community came together this holiday season to donate the funds for the surgery that she desperately needed. And I think the name Noel is really fitting for this Christmas. We had to include everybody. Yay! This is Bentley, and he wanted to be an elf for Christmas. In fact, so much so that he specifically asked that his hat match his cast. <laughs> okay, Bentley, we can do that for you. Bentley's story is just starting. Zach and Robbie from Marley's Mutts happened to be at the shelter, found out that he was on the 24 hour list and snatched him up so that this could be his first Christmas and his second chance on life. We did everything we could to get him everything he wanted. And right now, there's only one thing left on his Christmas wish list, and that is a forever home. And look at Titan sporting his new jacket that he just got for Christmas. And this jacket is awesome because it represents a lot more than just covering up some of his wounds that he got from abuse while he heals. Titan! Come here, buddy. Come here, I know you know that sound. Oh, what is that? There you go. Just like Hooch before Titan that came to the rescue after being abused and, and being found without a tongue, he's now loved. They're all now loved. And they're a part of something bigger. A part of people who say, we'll fight for you, we'll be there for you no matter what, so that you can have a Christmas with a loving family year after year after year. Oh boy, it's Papa Chino. Oh, and I almost forgot. <laughs> Santa didn't eat the cookies we left out for him. <laughs> I guess he was on to us that they're dog cookies. But I think Santa would still keep me on the nice list. And, and that means I would get one wish. And my wish for this holiday season is that every pet out there finds a loving home and that you and your family have a very Merry Christmas. The wonders of life got the pretty inside for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, 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 Marley Christmas! Christmas. Let's 
go meet Grandpa Stu. Okay, but first I gotta tell you Stuart's backstory. It's a heartbreaker. Someone had him in the back of their pickup truck, swung by the shelter, and just discarded him like he was trash. And what's worse is there's serious signs of neglect and abuse. The horrible matting on his fur coat is some of the worst I've ever seen, and it's painful for a dog. Look, this is the shelter just trying to give him some relief and shave him down. Gaze upon the sky Christmas on my mind Somewhere from a place up high You know, I can't even begin to understand how someone would just discard a dog like this just because they're a senior and they're old when that dog has given them nothing but unconditional love their entire life. And it doesn't even end there. The vet found BBs inside Stuart's body. Because of the painful arthritis in his hips and everything else that was going on with Stuart and the shelter doesn't have a way to facilitate a dog in these conditions, unfortunately a timeline for Stuart was set. But with only hours left, my friend Larissa spotted him. Her and her group of friends rallied and they found a temporary foster and an organization called A Purposeful Rescue that said we'll cover all his costs. And thank goodness because as soon as they took Stuart out into the yard, you could tell he had more life to live. When I saw all of this, I knew I had to help. But the real tipping point was when my friend Larissa, who's a pet rescue expert on the show Home and Family on the Hallmark Channel, she sent me a video and, and then I just, I knew I had to do something. Okay, so I thought what I'd do is I'd get into my bakery and i get suited up. I don't think you're the real deal until you have your apron and your hat on. <laughs> but I thought I'd get in my dog bakery and make up some treats for Stuart. So I've got I've got everything laid out. Check this out. Look at this. All right, so we've got I've got all my ingredients like cinnamon and honey and ginger, uh, and you can probably guess what ginger and cinnamon would be for all our gingerbread people. So uh, I'm making all these holiday cookies. I'm gonna mix everything up. I'm rolling it out. Um, I, I mean, I'm going I'm going full out because a dog like Stuart and everything he's been through. I don't want him just to have cookies. I want him to have cookies baked with love. I don't know. I'm just really, really excited. I've got, look, I've got Flip here helping me bake today. Uh, and we've got these cool cookie cutters. I smell that. Check it out. Flip approved. Every dog deserves to be loved, and uh, baking love into holiday cookies, I think, is a great way to show that. My guy Flip here has been a great helper and I think he should get to taste test the first cookie. You ready, buddy? Here we go. I'm so gentle, good boy. Okay, and Zoe, you are being so patient over here. The smaller one. Zozo. All the cookies are baked, they're fresh, I've let them cool, I'm gonna pack these up, and we're gonna get these over to Stuart so that he can have his first ever holiday cookie. There he is, look, he's got a wagon. So cool. Hi. Hi. I'm Rocky. Hey, Laura. Nice, Laura, to, nice to meet you. I'm Grandpa Stu. Is this, is this Grandpa Stuart? Stuart? Grandpa Stuart. He has a mind of his own. The wonders of life got the pretty oh, inside for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I want to be. So apparently Chow's pads can get really tender. And okay, how did you get involved with the Purposeful Rescue? Oh gosh, rescue? I got involved with the Purposeful Rescue with my first little rescue named Oprah. Okay, um, a lot of people tell me, well, I couldn't foster because I'd be so sad when the dog leaves. Right, but it's really rewarding, like, having that dog, seeing them come from like the shelter pet, and then watching them transform into like decompress and like know what the good life is. And well, and like you've heard me say, uh, it's not always about you, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's about the dog. Uh, so that that's why you do it. But you, like you said, it's, re it's very rewarding yeah. when you go through that process. Absolutely, I'm just seeing, you know, from start to finish, 
as a foster parent is like one of the most rewarding things I think you can do. What I love about him is, you know, who knows if anyone ever took him on a walk? And so just Laura having him out here today, this could be a dream come true for him. This is what he loves and he's getting to do what he loves now. You know, he might be 10, 15 years old, who knows? He looks, he's looking like he's 25 years old, <laughs> but now he's living his life. Oh, oh, oh. oh you, t <laughs> you talking about it? You ready? You ready for some treats? I mean, look at that face. Hit that thumbs up button if you think this guy is really cute. Hey, if you're new here and you love rescue dogs, like Grandpa Stewart as much as I do, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. The thing, the thing about seniors dogs is they just have so much love to give, and Grandpa Stu here is a perfect example of that. And to think, you know, for me, the holidays really mean family, right? And and Stuart, he didn't have a family. Now the fact that a purposeful rescue jumped in, uh, Laura, his temporary foster mom right now said, hey, I'll help until we can get him to a long-term foster. It just warms my heart. But what's really cool is now we get to spend the holidays with him. So, buddy, I have a whole bag of goodies for you here. We baked all the fresh baked cookies and in just a minute, I'm gonna give him his first ever holiday cookie. Now, I, I know what you're thinking, like, well, how do you know he hasn't had cookies before? And I, I don't know, maybe he has, but but based off his history, the fact that he's got BB gun pellets in him, the fact that, that someone just dumped him and said, you know what, he's too old, we're done with him, there's no way that he was getting treats and cookies and things like that. So just a couple days ago, he was a homeless senior dog, and now he's gonna get his first ever holiday dog cookie. I have a bunch of stuff for him. I don't know yet, I don't know yet if he likes toys. I don't know, you like squeakers? What is that? <laughs> We've got, Tennis balls. Now I don't know. I don't know if you'll be chasing after a tennis ball, but we can, you know. He may not have ever had someone play fetch with him. So We've got all these holiday cookies here. Here you go, buddy. Happy holidays. <laughs> no doubt, my jerky strips. No dog ever passes these up. So. Oh yeah, <laughs> there we go, good boy, good boy. Okay, you want some more? Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am not as festive as I should be, so I think we can fix that. Get it? Bah humbug, but it's bah humbug. <laughs> I feel like there's still one more thing that I get. <laughs> ah, there we go. Now I have my baker's hat on, I have my holiday sweater on, I've got the holiday cookies here. I mean, look at these things. This guy's even got little trousers on. First, we're gonna take all of the dry ingredients and we're gonna mix those together. I'm starting with oat flour, rice flour, potato starch. Of course, the namesake of this holiday cookie, ginger. The key ingredients for gingerbread people, cinnamon. Now, there's no sugar in this cinnamon. I know when we think of cinnamon a lot, we think cinnamon and sugar, but dogs actually really love cinnamon, and as long as it doesn't have sugar in it, it's good for them just like it's good for us. Just mix it all together, make sure it's well incorporated. You don't want any strong chunks of ginger or cinnamon uh, anywhere in a certain spot of the cookie, so uh, mix it all up, and then let's go to our wet ingredients, and we're gonna mix all of those and put them in a bowl. So, I've got a farm fresh egg, honey, which is a natural sweetener, applesauce. Uh, make sure you get the unsweetened applesauce so that it doesn't have any sugar. The less refined added sugar we can include in these treats, the better it's gonna be for your dog. Molasses, oil, and water. Okay, grab a whisk, mix it up, make sure it's all mixed in really nice because then we're gonna take the wet ingredients and we're gonna pour it into the dry ingredients. That's my helper, Flip. He, he's got this down pat, don't you, buddy? You got this down pat. After you've poured the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients, go ahead and fold it in. Just keep folding it and folding it. And then, you know what? What I like to do is just get your hands in there and just work the dough. Just take the dough as soon as you've got it complete, wrap it in some saran wrap, throw it in the fridge, let it set for at least 20 minutes, if you can, an hour. Go ahead and preset your oven to 325. What do you do for 20 minutes to an hour? I like where your head's at. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good boy. The dough 
dough is cooled, so you should be able to just roll it out. If you're having a hard time with the dough and it's still sticking to the roller, grab some saran wrap, throw it over the dough, and then you can roll it out. Okay, we've got our dough rolled out, and then from here, it is smooth sailing. You grab your gingerbread man, woman, person, you cut out all of the dough that you possibly can. Next step, line the pan with a piece of parchment paper. You can place them pretty close together too because they're not going to expand. So let's put these bad boys in the oven. Let them bake for 20 minutes. Okay, two of the most important things I'm gonna tell you in this entire video. One, make sure these cookies cool longer than you'd let them cool for yourself. Two, moderation. Don't let your dog eat an entire sheet of cookies. Now for the fun part, it is time to decorate. The decorations that look like chocolate on these cookies are actually carob. And I know, I know everyone in the comments is gonna be like, dog can't eat chocolate. No, it's not chocolate, it's carob. Oh, and I almost forgot the key ingredient, the most important part of this entire recipe. You're gonna need at least one good pupper or doggo to taste test your delicious holiday cookies. Oh, gentle.